for this project, I decided to do this on Senate Bill 117, and the main sponsor of that bill was Tom Jacobson, who I interviewed. What's the background of this bill? Well, the, the background, in, uh, background is, is finding um, money for workforce housing. Mm -hmm. And so there's always, and we, we're seeing this, I think, even more now than ever before for a need for uh, affordable housing. So uh, what this project would have done is it would have, this one was fairly simple. It just allowed uh, the, the, uh, the Board of Housing to provide grants um, they were looking at a number of um, uh, specifically with ARPA money, but there's also other opportunities to obtain grants and to uh, uh, to use those or to be, to obtain funding that they would that would be required to be granted rather than lent. And so uh, we just needed, you know, we just reckon, realized in statute that there was not. Um, that opportunity. So it was as simple as just adding um, grants into the uh, in, into the department or the Board of Housing's uh, repertoire to be able to use to be able to do that. And because they didn't have the authority to grant at that point. Okay. And then uh, what are the objectives and who are the stakeholders within this policy? Uh, the uh, the uh, Stakeholders, well, the objectives is is to uh, build more workforce housing. The stakeholders are um, uh, housing organizations like NeighborWorks. Um, of course, stakeholders are also the uh, the contractors, uh, the Montana uh, Builders Association. Um, you know, anybody that has, and then of course, employers who need work, you know, um, affordable housing for their workforce. Um, so there's a multitude that yeah, there's a multitude of stakeholders that were involved in that would have benefited from the ability for the for the the, the board to um, to grant funds instead of just lend funds and yeah and access more funding. Okay, and then uh, what are what is the policy strategy and what are the effects of it? So the, uh, the yeah just kind of like what I said the strategy is to um, expand the existing statutory language to allow the Board of Housing to make grants um, as well as loans with um, outside funds, with federal funds, with, you know, um, any other uh, granting authority uh, that make that uh, that there may be, it would allow them uh, more flexibility really in how they funded workforce housing. Okay. And then what's the policy implementation? Like, what is the implementation of this bill? You mean the, the implementation? Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find some notes I had on here. Um, so, um, State the question again. I'm sorry. You're good. What is the policy implementation of this bill? Well, I mean, the policy implementation was was uh, pretty simple. It, uh, once the the bill was passed, then uh, the uh, the housing division of commerce, uh, the board of housing, they were they had the the flexibility to provide grants. So the implementation then once that statute if it if it had passed um then uh, the the housing division would have uh been able to um, access so then that would have just opened the door for them to start applying for accessing these funds they would have had the opportunity to uh it, you know if there were arpa funds that that would have uh required uh the the uh housing division to uh, to grant these dollars instead of lend them, then that would have given them the flexibility to do so. Okay. I believe those are all the questions I have for you. Uh, do you have anything for me, like additional information on anything besides that email you sent previously? No, that kind of summed everything up as far as what happened with, you know, why did it not pass? 
um, you know, that was kind of the, the reality behind it was um, um, just the hesitancy from the department, their, their need to spend political capital in other areas that they felt, you know, and rather than um, putting more energy into something that, I mean, the, the committee already wanted to sunset it in two years. Mm -hmm. They really wanted it to just be ARPA. Mm -hmm. And that's it needed to be more than ARPA and needed to be able to embrace uh, other funding opportunities. And so rather than um, accepting something that was less than desirable and they'd have to come back and revisit it, if they're going to have to come back and revisit this in the next session, then they'd rather, re, you know, get their ducks in a row a little bit better and, mm -hmm. and, and do it then. So. Oh, that's about it. Okay. Well, thank you so much. This has been super helpful. Um, it'll okay. help you in both classes, which is super handy. Well, good. Um, thank you for taking the time out of your day to talk with me about this. I really appreciate it. You bet. And I'm sorry I was a few minutes late. I didn't really think of any alternative policies, to be completely honest, because I already really like what this bill says. But I would like to thank Tom Jacobson for taking the time to interview with me.